And the way I'm gonna blow dry this, I want to use the round of her head to help me get a bend in her uh, shape of her hair. Her whole entire style will be determined by how her head is shaped, really. So, I'm gonna take the very back first. I'm gonna take this crown and I wanna really just push all this hair up and over the opposite side. And I wanna lay this down with her head shape. Top to bottom, bottom to top. I'm pulling this backwards for now. And now taking this side, center back. And we're gonna push the opposite way across the crown. That's just gonna let us get a nice bend in her hair. Starting to cool down right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it back to her part with a round brush. We're gonna finish the rest of her blow dry out. Round brush isn't necessarily for a curl or a bend. If I get a little bit, that's fine, but I really just want a nice smooth beveled end. work some of this underneath before I go straight to the top. And then I'll add the layers on top to my hair underneath here. So let's get this dry first. Okay, so when I drop this down, I wanna grab some of the hair underneath with my brush bristles. And that's just gonna tie them all together as I roll it down the head. Giving me a nice cohesive bob look. Since we're all done, we haven't done perimeter or any kind of refinement, so we're gonna, we gave her some short layers, and I'm gonna take this bottom part up significantly higher so it really has a nice angle towards the front, and I'm gonna blend in the perimeter with the rest of the layers with my blending shears. First thing I wanna do, collect all this hair in the center back. We're gonna pick a spot. Let's go about halfway here. We're just gonna follow this line down and around here. to keep this link in the front. So we're just gonna make sure that when we're cutting this, I wanna shift this link in the front towards the back. You can see how my line changes. And what I wanna do is just smooth that line out. So that when I let it go, it still has a nice swing towards the front there. Same thing here, I'm gonna take this section, I'm gonna shift this towards the back and you can see my line here, and then you can see as I shift, that line evens out, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep that. Remember, she wants that length in the front, so we're just gonna dust that front to make it healthy. We're just gonna let it go. It's pretty awesome. Okay, it's perimeter on one side. Let's go ahead and fix the other side. We can see without the perimeter being cut, 
or the dry cut just doesn't really look complete, right? So dry cut's real important here. We're gonna keep combing this. Everything's parted the way she naturally wears it from the top down. So the goal is when she gets out of the shower or the pool and she shakes her head, everything falls exactly where it needs to fall and she didn't have to spend time looking in the mirror to make sure she looks good again. It's already gonna look good, no matter what. Right, and we're gonna do the exact same thing here. We're gonna follow this line down and around. Let me switch sides here. Um, yeah. I'm gonna shift the hair back just slightly. She looks like an anime character. <laughs> yeah, that's real fun. Okay, so let's go and do some interior. And yeah, we're gonna be styling. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take these vertically. I'm gonna take a lot of this weight out. She's got plenty of hair, so I'm not gonna be very shy with it. I still wanna keep the lines she has on the, print, on the, uh, the ends of her hair. But I wouldn't mind them being a little softer, or a little bit more shredded, you could say, textured. So something a little bit more wispy there, fun. Easier to style that way too with your spray wax or your cream products. So starting low. When I go to blend, I've already cut the ends off. I don't need to do the ends anymore, right? I can if I want, but we're just gonna be doing the same thing we've already done. So what I wanna do is I wanna go into the interior a little bit, maybe even halfway. I'm gonna take a snip, and uh, maybe another, and then when I feel comfortable, I'm gonna start working towards the ends as I cut. So I don't cut this short, but I do thin out the ends as I work. All right, so starting closer towards the interior, and then slowly working my way out. So same concept here, bringing this back, start interior, and then we're gonna build our way outwards towards the ends of the haircut. That's why it's important to go ahead and set your solid shape first, and then you can come in later, shred it up, cut it up, however you wanna do it. It's always better to start with the base. Over direction is the same too. I'm taking each one of these sections back the same way I cut the base earlier, the base cut. What that's gonna do is ensure I keep that weight as long and as far forward as I want it to be. Less hair in the front, so you don't have to take as much weight out in the front since you don't have a lot to work with. Clean it up perimeter. Don't mind a little wispiness, it's fine. Looks kind of fun. Okay, much looser there, I love that. So let's go to the other side, do the same thing, and then we'll work on this undercut a little bit more. Vertical sections, pulling them slightly backwards to my previous. Just making sure that they're back towards the back of the head whenever I go back through and texturize.
the front, we're gonna bring it all back. You can see most of that bulk here. Looking at the amount of light shining through, I can determine when I wanna move on. Give me a shake. Don't be shy, give me a shake, girl. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what we needed. Spice it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at the crowd. You gotta read your audience. All right, so let's just look at the front, make sure, because I love the texture and everything. I don't want the front to be looking too long. I mean, we don't want it too short bangs, but I do want to maybe soften just a little bit so she has some fun there whenever we style it out later. So I'm gonna take this forward on both sides of the part. It's about a, maybe an inch to a half inch both sides. You can even do a little triangular shape here. I'm just gonna bring this together. I'm gonna cut me a little V shape right in the middle there. It's just gonna help her have a little bit of a wisp out this way, a little bit of a wisp out that way without going too much into that fringe area. We put a little bit of the Unite U Argan Oil in there just for a little pieciness on these ends. I'm gonna do a little bit more because her hair loved it. Just gonna let this go all around. All right, we got our undercut set. This is a little bit of a spray wax I'm just gonna put through this hair. And I wanna get as much texture out of this as possible and volume, so I'm gonna pull this top up and just spray underneath. Texture in there as far as my pieciness with my spray wax. That'll give me a little grip so I can pull this top out, bottom down, separate. That'll actually let my color pop a little bit more too. Right? So then I'm gonna finish that out with the Unite Texturizer. I like a little windblown feel here, so Alicia knows this. One of my faves that comes to see me in the salon. Let me play today. Appreciate you, thank you. And we're gonna get some afters here. How are we looking? Does it look okay? You just saying that. Awesome. <laughs>